I didn't really mean to come on here with bloodshot eyes having slept zero hours, but it is what it is. I did get up at 6 p.m. last night, but I'm still extremely tired, but I have a meeting in like four hours, so there's no time for a nap, so I'm downing an energy drink, and I'm also hyped from watching live concerts on YouTube, so here we are. You already know from the title, but me coming from the past, I don't know if this will be one or two videos. I'm gonna go through both embroidered and printed patches that I'm gonna put on my now empty battle vest, but I don't know how much I'm gonna ramble about it, so it might end up being two videos. Either way, let's start with the embroidered ones. First, I just wanna say that I did not have a patch collection from before. I only had a couple of patches that I've kept from my teenage years that you might have seen in some earlier videos. So m most of these, like 98% of them, are recently purchased for the purpose of making this battle vest. But I have been listening to most of these bands for a long time. And we all know embroidered patches are way better than printed ones. But like I mentioned before, sometimes you simply can't find embroidered patches of the band or album that you like. So even though I have mostly embroidered patches, I did end up getting a few printed ones. I also see most people when making a battle vest preferring the band's logo as a patch, but I'm more of a album patch kind of girl, so I mostly have like big square ones. And that's for a multitude of reasons. One of them being that even though I like some albums from a band, I might not like all of their stuff. Secondly, I think you get to be more specific about the things you like on your vest and people that might comment on your vest can more easily communicate about the albums that you do like. And thirdly, I think a lot of the album art is just too awesome not to put on the vest instead of just a plain logo. So I have a nice little bundle here with the embroidered patches and I decided to bring out all the album covers as well so we can compare them to the patch. I thought that would be like a nice addition to this. So let's just start with the top one. And I forgot to mention that I did try and get official patches from the band's official page or like a certified online store but in most cases it was just impossible or they didn't have what I wanted. So most of these are bootleg, bought off eBay. But in the cases where I couldn't get the official thing, I did. Because I do want to support most bands with my money, just so you know. <laughs> um, but first, I believe this is bootleg because it doesn't have any copyright mark or whatever on it. So I'm just guessing it's bootleg. But we have Legion of the Damned with... Malevolent Rapture and here we have the album cover. I'm not sure if this is considered embroidered but it's like the Vowen style I think it's called. Compared to the album cover you can see that it's mostly black and white but it does have red for the bloody parts which I really like. It might have a little less detail like the the corpse on the side here Maybe you can't really tell what that is on the patch. You can kind of see the foot up here, but not really what's going on down here. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. This is one of the few bands that I've actually seen live. Back then, this was the first and only album they had. It's also one of the few thrash bands that I like. And with Legion of the Damned, I did check both their official page and Napalm Records for their merch stuff to see if they had any patches, but they had zero so that one i got off ebay next up is crimson glory and here is the album cover these are a little bit different i decided to go for the embroidered version although they did have an exact copy of the album cover printed maybe i'll insert a photo so you can see that one and i was kind of torn if i wanted like the exact copy or I get this like slightly different, more rose forward <laughs> embroidered one. But I did end up getting this because I just thought it looked nicer and I probably would always prefer embroidered over printed. Plus I think the colors just look really nice. I'm not mad about the, the yellow shine on the mask instead of the blue. So this one's slightly different, but I still like it. 
Of course, Crimson Glory is not really a current band, so you can't really find their stuff anywhere. So this was definitely also just bootleg stuff off eBay. However, I did find like a very... Like on a Crimson Glory YouTube video, I found like the producer, I think, and he had a link to a page where he actually sold some patches. But I think it was only the Transcendence album and I kind of wanted the self-titled album both because I thought the colors would fit my vest better the Transcendence ones is very like blue and purple themed so that's why I went with this one if I had known about the official patch before I bought this one maybe I would have gotten Transcendence instead but for now I'm just gonna put this on and maybe I'll switch it out later on if I end up getting the official patch next up is Hecate Enthroned also huge disclaimer, I've never heard anyone pronounce their name, I think. <laughs> it might be Hecate, it might be Hecate, I have no clue, I just always call them Hecate Enthroned, because that's what my brain kind of figured out from the English language. So don't mind me if I'm saying it wrong. I brought their EP album cover, because it only has the logo on front, so we could really compare the two. And I do think it's kind of decent quality. This is also a band that you can't really get any patches of, like official ones. So I was really stoked when I was able to find this one on eBay. They do have an official page, but they only have band shirts on it, no patches. But I'm just happy I could even find a Hecate the Drone patch, so <laughs> I love this one. This next one might be a little bit controversial and I didn't really know if I wanted it on my vest. But obviously we're here, so I decided to go for it. I got Iced Earth. Yeah, with them I did decide to just go for the simple logo. Because I couldn't really find any of the albums that I liked. We can compare it to the first album cover here. This was also a bootleg off eBay. I did go on their page just to check if they had any patches, but I couldn't even get on their merch page because the servers were down or something. I also didn't really know if I wanted to support them with my money. Like I already own their CDs because I bought them back in like 2004-ish maybe. I still enjoy my old CDs but I probably wouldn't buy new ones. But yeah, I did listen to Iced Earth a lot in my teenage years and I do love their music so I decided they were worth putting on my vest but I don't think they'll be getting like a very visible spot. <laughs> I'm thinking like maybe down the sides under the arms or something. But yeah. Next up is Edguy, Theater of Salvation. And here is the album cover. This is in the same style as the Legion of the Damned in that it's kind of like a woven patch. It has like a very slick feel to it because everything is like covered. Obviously a lot darker than the original album art and not as many details again, especially like the demon. It kind of looks like the angel is on top of waves maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really mind. <laughs> it's not really my favorite album cover by Edgai, but it is my favorite album music-wise. Really stoked to have found this on eBay. Edgai do have an official page, but they had no patches on there, only shirts, wristbands, caps and stuff like that I think. Next up is Children of Bodom. Here is the album cover. Now this one is kind of like a cut shape. Also has like a different material. Textured and hard. Some of the other patches I got have that too, which I didn't really like but for some reason I think it really goes well with the style of this one. This patch on eBay was the only one that they had. Which was really great because Hate Breeder is my favorite album. So this was just perfect. Of course, this one also feels a little bit extra special for me now. When I bought this, it was late December and I wasn't really sure if I wanted them on my patch because I don't listen a lot to the music right now. But I did kind of want it on my vest for nostalgic reasons and of course because they're an amazing band. So I kind of bought it on a whim in December and then while waiting for it to arrive, uh, we got the information that Alexi died. So yeah, that made me kind of happy that I bought this and 
this will definitely get like an honorable place on my list for sure. And again, I did check Borom's official page. Again, zero patches. They had like everything else in the whole world that you can think of. Like socks, winter bundles with like hats and mittens, poster flags, hoodies, and even face masks, but no patches. <laughs> so again, eBay. Then we have a Blind Guardian patch. This is one of the few bands I got the logo from and that's simply because I wanted something small because this is not really a band that I actively listen to but I did see them live once in Belgium so that was kind of special to me. I feel like maybe I should try and get more into their music because I mean there's quite a few songs of them that I really like but then again I'm not a huge fan of the genre or like the fantasy theme so they haven't really been like a priority for me to check out their stuff. Maybe I'll get into that eventually, but I like some of their stuff and I've seen them live so I just kind of wanted them on there to kind of remind me of the concert. And I don't have any albums from them so I can't compare uh, this to some official shit. This one you might have seen in my previous videos, but I did have a Iron Maiden patch from before. Also bootleg off eBay. Now this is a patch that I don't think will go on my vest. I don't feel like I've listened enough to Iron Maiden to wear it yet. I only really know like their top 10 most well-known classics maybe. I don't really know any albums except Killers and Power Slave, which is why I got this one. They're also a band that I need to check out more from uh, before I feel comfortable wearing. I might put a Iron Maiden patch on my vest in the future. But probably not this one because I feel like the colors don't really go with the other patches I'm gonna put on it. Maybe I'll get like their logo patch someday. Or at least get an official patch from their website because they actually have patches on there if I remember correctly. And I know how big of a shame it is that I don't have any Maiden albums in my collection. I'm very aware. <laughs> Next up is Sanctuary. I quite recently came across this band but they quickly became one of my all-time favorites because they have like a very distinct 80s feel to them. So I actually have two patches here, one bootleg and one official and that is simply because I ordered the bootleg first and then I actually managed to find the official stuff so I ordered that afterwards. We'll take a look at the bootleg one first. Here is the one that I got off eBay. It has a slight blue tint to it. And I mean, you can see every stitch. So not the best of quality, but honestly not too bad either. I actually found a printed one of this album too, which you'll see later. But I decided to also get the logo because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to put on my vest. And I also didn't know how good of a quality the printed album cover would be, or the patch I mean, so I bought both just in case. But then here is the official one that I got off their page, which was kind of scary because they're a really old band. There was not a lot of stuff on their page and I didn't really know if it was like still going, kind of, if someone was managing the shop. I kind of wanted to buy a shirt from them, but the only girly shirt they had didn't have any album art on the front, just a tiny logo and it was $30 so <laughs> I didn't want to get that and this patch that I bought for like $20 including shipping that would have been like $70 <laughs> so I bought just the patch uh, just to see if it would actually arrive uh, which it did and I was so happy so might end up get a shirt later on but for now I'm just gonna enjoy the logo patch and this is definitely gonna get like an awesome spot on my vest because I really like Sanctuary. <laughs> I did also check Blind Guardian's site just to see if they had the logo patch but they also just had shirts, hats and hoodies and no patches so. Next we have Stratovarius as we say in Scandinavia. <laughs> Definitely bootleg off eBay. You can see this one has like the shiny backing material again, like the children of bottom, and the slightly blue tinted thread, like the fake sanctuary one. And I brought the Visions album just to show the logo. 
Stratovarius is one of the bands that are still going to this day. And even though they do have a logo patch on their official page, they only have the new logo. And I'm a fan of everything before that, like the older stuff with the old logo. So I didn't really want to support the new logo because that doesn't really represent my taste with them. That's why I chose to rather get a bootleg one, sad but true. But I wasn't really happy with the quality of this one and especially the blue color. I feel like it looked more white on eBay and so I was kind of surprised when I got it. So I didn't really like the blue, I didn't really like the this material for it. I didn't really like the stitching quality. I decided not to put this on my vest and I rather found a seller on eBay that did printed Stratovarius patches. So I ended up getting one of those instead, which you will see later on. Then we have My Dying Bride. These are the two patches that I kept from my teenage years and are the only ones besides Sanctuary, I think, that are official. So you can see here that they are marked with the copyright mark thingy from 2003, I think. So these I bought in a local shop in my hometown, in a record store. These I've had for probably 17 plus years. And I'm also lucky enough to have the patch from one of my at least two favorite albums by My Dying Bride. This is probably the album that I listened the most to, along with Like Gods of the Sun. I don't know which one I'll put on my vest. I'd prefer to put the album one on, but since I have so many other bands that I kind of prefer over My Dying Bride, this is also kind of a band that I listen to more in the past and not so much currently. So I might end up having to put only the logo on to save some space, but we'll see. Now there's only two left and this next one is kind of random. It is a patch that I have saved from my teenage years, but it is non-music related. It looks like this. It does look really dope though, I have to say. It is a like vampire bat on top of a decorative coffin. This is also marked 2003. It is by Alchemy Gothic. They have a lot of cool jewelry, shirts, patches, homeware, stuff like that. I really like that brand overall. I did used to have a back patch too, but I don't know what I did with that one. This is another one that I probably won't put on my vest because I don't think there'll be room and also I only want music on there. And then lastly, we have a Hammerfall patch. I didn't bring an album for this because this is not really a logo that is featured on any of the albums, I think, except for the 10th anniversary thingy. This also kind of surprised me because I knew that it was going to be on the bigger side, but I didn't know that it was, was going to be this big. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I don't think it will fit anywhere nice on my vest. I might just end up cutting out just this part and maybe I can fit like just this piece on there. Or I might just end up putting this on something else. I'm not even sure. And I was able to choose between this gold white or red thread. I went with the gold because their original logo is like yellowish, so I kind of wanted the original colors on the text. But again, I also bought some printed ones of actual album covers by Hammerfall that you're gonna see in the other video. So even though this one didn't really work out, I have some other variations that I'm probably gonna use instead. Hammerfall is also a band that is still going to this day, even like from back in the 80s. <laughs> On their official page, they only have CDs, hoodies, shirts with only their recent stuff and nothing with the old stuff, which is what I like. Napalm Records did actually have one Hammerfall back patch, but that was also a very one of their very recent albums and not something that I wanted. That's why I also had to get their patches off eBay. And I believe that was everything for the embroidered patches. And I've been here for a while now, so I think that was enough for one video. Leave me a comment down below which patch you like the best and if you have any of them yourself. 
And then I hope to see you in my next video with the printed patches. I don't have nearly as many printed patches as I have embroidered ones, so hopefully that one is gonna be a lot shorter. But I will also, of course, include the printed back patches. So we're gonna do a back patch reveal in that video. Pretty exciting stuff, so remember to subscribe if you aren't already so you can keep up with my patch collection. I want to thank all my patrons for their support and if you want to become a patron you can join for only one dollar and you'll get updates, sneak peeks and watch these videos three days early with no ads. So check the links below if you are interested and then I hope to see you in my next video. Visas.